Hello everybody, this is Indie Geek, and today I'm taking a look at a game called Echo of the Wilds. So this is a game by Kaiaswear, and it will be available at some point during the day when this goes up. So that is Sunday, March 16th, and I don't have a, a set time when it will be available, unfortunately, because it's a little bit out of the developer's control. Um, I believe it's releasing on... Maybe like the the itch.io website storefront for indies. I don't know if it's releasing anywhere else, but I will just link to his homepage where you will be able to buy the game from there. So that is that, and it will be uh, five dollars for a while, as well as his other game will also be five dollars. Uh, both of those being half price from what the games will normally cost. So. That is that. So, the way this works, I'm actually going to open. Uh, no, maybe I won't open up. No, I will. I'll open up the tutorial for you guys and gals and kind of show off what's going on in this. So, greetings, unenlightened one. Allow me to just to depose all doubt by revealing the secrets of self of uh, secrets of self subjection and survival. Goodness, Sally sells seashells. All journeys must begin with a single step. Now prove to me you are capable of grasping beyond mere initiative. So, it's just teaching us how to walk. You appear worthy, but you must not idle. That which you seek lies beyond reach, so gather pace, show me strides. So the game has a really interesting way with language, which you'll kind of notice. Steady, running drains stamina, uh, steady running drains stamina, especially in hot climates. Your heart gauge reflects physical hunger and fatigue. The other thing I need to mention real quick is this is a beta version, so if there are any bugs or anything, which I haven't encountered yet, but if there are throughout the video, that is not a reflection of the final game. So, just thought I should get that out of the way. While your water gauge reflects thirst and vitality, but if either has nothing left to offer, your time may be over. Luckily, the wilds team with goodies to restore energies. Go take a, a slathering munch on my delicious plummy fruits. Yeah, it's not the easiest game to uh, talk about, like to read the the words. I mean, basically because mm, plummily, plummily, yummily, because it's a lot of that kind of stuff. It reminds me of reading like A Clockwork Orange. But not every goodie is offered so easily. Some resources can only be collected using tools built by your fair hand. Such great, uh, such gear building knowledge can, is that right? Yeah, such gear building knowledge can weave into your will by bestowing reference to altars devotive of the wilds. Sorry, like I said, it's a little hard to read. And that's not a bad thing, so don't, don't take that as a bad thing. Being an enlightened soul, I already know such bushcraft, but knowledge is worthless without a capacity for action. Combine it with wildy resources to further your path. Now use this wealth, build an axe, and smite this weakly tree. So we will pick up this rock, pick up this bit of wood, go into our docket, and build ourselves an axe. Just like that, now we have an axe. But you saw that they used some of our stamina. That's okay though, we'll use our axe here. And there we go. Bravo, you are almost ready to roam. Now, I do hope you notice the sundial below, churning into nightfall's grasps. Traveling between places passes celestial time, but once arrived, its advances are locked for, leisure, uh, for leisurely exploration. However, the wilds hold manifold hazards where a sprightly step is desired. Figuring it all out alone is the true test. Now unseal your mind map and reach beyond this cage of teachings. Explore and discover your echo of the wilds. So this is kind of how this is going to work. Where we can go to our map and then we can just pick a place. So that is our tutorial. So. Uh, what I kind of need to explain here is that this is... Okay, I'm actually going to forget this, even though this is a save that I was working on. But that's okay. So, 
we can choose ourself, meaning we can choose to be male or female. So I'm going to choose to be male, and this is how the game starts every time, and it shows me to be female. Interesting. Gah, great golly goshings. Are, are you a good ghosty? Oh dear, you don't appear to remember my face, do you? What a pity. Sorry, no, I don't rem- wait. How did I even reach these forests? Can you show me a way out of here? To home? Home isn't important right now. The grasping cold gloom of night descends upon us. Your only priority is survival. Grab the blue spiny plants and use them to tear apart a small tree, then bathe in the cozy protection, uh, cozy, eh, cozy protective glow of fire. Oh my, I'm hallucinating. So first I'm going to eat these berries. Mmm, very tasty. So like I said, a lot of the language is very, like, descriptive language, and it's not necessarily, like, the words that someone would normally use, which I kind of like. It really gives it kind of a feel of being kind of its own world. Like, maybe this isn't necessarily our world, so, oh no, gosh darn it, my treasured tool has disintegrated. So that that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Um, I will say here, but tomorrow it's time for answers. Sorry, I just kind of skipped past that dialogue part there. I will say that I am absolutely loving this game. It works in a way kind of like a roguelike. And by that, I mean that, for example, the layouts that we get every time are going to be a little different. So maybe I'll, in this day here, I will show you kind of exploring a different part of the land. Gah! You'll want a bigger bonfire to stave away the worst of the chills each night. Two woodlets should do you grand. Were you looming over me all night? Watching me sleep? I'm with you always. It's how I know you have questions. And in time, the echoes of your heart will answer them. Echoes of my heart? Look, you're not making any sense. Let's just start with the basics. Who exactly are you? I'm you, of course. A mind splinter seeking closure. I can change my appearance if you disapprove of this form. Okay, stop. So you're me, of course. And I'm you, talking to a ghost me in a weird forest. This is insane nonsense. Perhaps. But I never said you were insane. Weren't insane, sorry. Now go explore these woodlands for food to sustain your body and wood to burn your campfire bright each night. In insane? No, I'm just tired. Yes, that's it. Tired. And quite peckish. So... We can go over here. This is what we really want. We don't care too much about the other things. And then we can actually go explore. So, uh, I'm just going to kind of pick a random spot here. And this is where things really kind of get to be, in a way, kind of like a roguelike. So, there are definitely more options for places than what we've got on our map. Golly, what what is that? And I haven't come close to winning. I don't know that there is a winning? I assume there must be, because in addition to this mode, there is a survival mode where you just try and survive as long as possible. So, oh, this place seems to have jolly useful resources to aid my fragile survival. Should I remember its whereabouts? Sure. Oh golly, the wild whistling winds here are a wee bit nippy. I'll need snuggly garments to keep the chill off my bones. So, uh, basically what that means is that we are... Mmm, tingly. It didn't do me any harm, but it didn't do any good either. It sure cleared my nasal passages, though. Um, so what, basically what that means is that in this area, we are, like, constantly losing the, uh, our, our, basically our stamina. An ageless rock resists the ravages of weather and time. It would, be, it would almost be a shame to smash it up. So, I'm thinking that... This area might be a little bust. Rabbits go bonkers around this tuft of greenery. Pawing away beneath it, I wonder what they hunger for. So, one of the things I want to say is that this game is just absolutely beautiful. It's, uh, as far as, like, pixel art and stuff like that goes, it's probably one of the one of the best uses of pixel art I've seen. What a strange oddity to peer upon. My eyes tingle. And I know this this kind of art is not going to be for everyone, but I'm a huge, huge fan of pixel art, so this game has just totally sold me on how pretty it looks. 
And all the music stuff is really beautiful as well. Uh, it doesn't sound like there's music in this section of the game, but... Oh, there is a little bit in the background, yes. So I'm going to go to another place. Then we get these really cool scenes going between places. I like those a lot. So one of the things that, that's potentially going to become apparent, as long as I don't die this very first night here, and I'm going to want to head back home basically now. Yeah, I need to go back. So we'll see if I make it through the night or not. Because there is the possibility of me just dying in the middle of the night because I'm not doing so hot here. So I'm going to use this. Ah, uh, toasty tootsies, but for, uh, for snugglies it hankers a stoking. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I love the smell of smoldering plant stuff in the morning. So, I should kindle a bigger fire to keep my tootsies snug all night long, or should I just head for Betty Buys? Uh, I'm just going to go to bed, because unfortunately I don't really have too much else I can burn. So yeah, we get some pretty wild stuff happening at night. So we've got this voice that's kind of very slowly saying, Awaken. Um, a lot of the imagery and stuff in this reminds me of a comic book series called Sweet Tooth by Jeff Lemire, and I don't know if that's actually like an influence on the game at all, but it's just kind of an interesting uh, comparison that I noticed. So I don't know if, if the developer has actually read Sweet Tooth or heard of it or anything, but just a lot of the, the way that imagery is used in this reminds me of that. Golly, what what is that? Let's see what I found this time. Ooh, wow, I have not seen this before. Oh golly, what magical mysteriosity have I stumbled upon? Should I remember this place's wondrous whereabouts? Yes, why not? Um, so you saw in the tutorial there is crafting. First we kind of have to find an altar like this. I wasn't expecting there to actually be an altar here, so... A strange shrine devotive of the wilds befalls my tingling spookful senses. There's an inscription here. It reads, Slatherus, be Slatherus bestoweth a sen a sensory energies beholdeth Withinery, beastily, in our in artery, mediarius, exemplarius. What? I don't even understand. That was embarrassing, but I don't even know what that's supposed to say. Wow. That's uh really really beautiful. It's the kind of thing. I do wonder if there's a way to climb up to that ridge. Uh, it's the kind of thing that I could see myself using as, like, a screensaver. Like I said, this game is just absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to need to explore to another place, because that did not really get me any items or anything. Um, I don't know if I will keep playing until I lose, because it all depends. So could that be a mysteriosity I see before me? Maybe. Hopefully not quite as mysterious as that that, uh, that last place. Goodness, I can really not talk today. Well, this place seems to have generally useful resources to aid my fragile survival. Should I remember its whereabouts? Sure. Let's go ahead and drink. Okay. Cool. So unfortunately, I'm not going to have much for making the fire again. So this could be an interesting night. And speaking of night, uh, I do need to head back to camp. So I think I'll do that and I'll wrap this up here. So I will say, um, I have played through and lost a few times. Like I said, I don't know how long you have to, dis uh, how long you have to survive to get to any kind of wing condition here. But, um, 
something that I, I will say about this is that I, I really like it mostly because it's just intriguing to me. I haven't quite played a game like this before, and it does a lot of things that I don't normally see in similar games. Uh, maybe because there aren't many similar games, honestly. But, you know, by that I mean, like, a roguelike typically you know kind of the rules of it and you, you understand a little bit of what items do and stuff. This is very, like, just try stuff and learn as you go, and I'm I'm really into that. I like that a lot. I think it works well for this game. I think it's, it's a good game. I think, uh, you know, if nothing else, it looks beautiful and sounds beautiful, and uh, there's a lot of mystery to it, and I'm looking forward to hopefully trying to be able to solve some more of that mystery, but that is what I'll leave you with. Uh, I like it a lot, and if honestly, if it looks like something that you think you'd like, I'd say give it a shot for five bucks. Can't really go wrong. It certainly looks, uh, you, you know, like I said, it looks pretty. It's, it's an interesting idea, and I'm excited to see what I can find out about the game because there's supposed to be like something like 30 areas I think and a couple hundred different items in total so that is quite a lot of stuff to find out about the game but that is where I'm going to wrap my thoughts I definitely recommend that you go check this game out I think that uh, it's it's something different for sure so, as always, feel free to comment if there's anything that you'd like to comment on. Subscribe to the channel to see more videos every single day, and if you like this video on Echo of the Wilds, please consider clicking the like button, because that could help me out a lot, and I appreciate everything that you do to help. So with all of that being said, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.